Hey guys, so I uh, I ran up the stairs after I got out of the shower, or after I went downstairs to brush my teeth, right? After I went downstairs to brush my teeth, because I was so super excited to uh, to make this video, because fuck do I miss you guys. Uh, so, I figured that, um, well, because I'm not streaming, I figured that uh, no Santa hat, I'm not going to wear the Santa hat. Um, because when I'm, like, the Santa hat kind of represents my streaming persona, and right now, this is just me doing my own thing. Um, so as you probably know, I went on a hiatus, um, from streaming, because I got a lot going on. I got a lot going on. Um, I'm saving up for a lot of things, right? I'm saving up for an apartment, I'm saving up for fixing my car. Fixing my car is the number one priority right now. Um, I got into an accident on the Verrazano Bridge. Super scary. Super scary. So now the seatbelt and the airbag mechanism don't really work. So we have to either fix it or just straight up find another one. Um, so right now I'm working really hard. I'm working like 30 hours a week um, in retail. I work at a Hobby Lobby. It's actually, <laughs> you know, you'd think I would say, you know, retail sucks, you know. Fuck retail. But it's really not that bad. Um, like I went into it with the mindset that like, 90% of people are pretty good. They're pretty good. You know, it's only like 10% of people that are like, meh. Some people are just like, I'm just trying to go to the store and I'm not trying to interact with anybody or maybe I'm in a rush or maybe I'm on the phone or something like that. <laughs> I remember once uh, this lady came, she was like, yeah, no, I want a gift card, $50 on each. And I was like, okay, can I get a zip code? She's, she looks at me, she's on the phone. She's like, $50 on each. I'm like, can I get a zip code? <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Um, and that's just one of the many mishaps that happened. I remember this other lady tried to bring, oh, this is when I was brand new. This lady tried to bring gift cards, right? She, she wanted to get money on all these gift cards. So she hands me five gift cards. She's like, I want $50. She, no, she, first she said $200 on, on this one. So I was like, all right. So I rang her up for 200 and she's like, no, I want $50 on this one. I'm like, you just said 200, like, what are you doing? So I had to, I, I asked her to get a new card. Um, I didn't really know how to avoid the last one, so she got a new card and I rang her up. And then she hands me four identical gift cards and she says, all right, I want $25 on each, but they have to be separate transactions. They can't be on the same receipt. So I was like, all right. So I, I take the four gift cards and I ring up the first one because the way it works is you you put it inside the, uh, the little machine after you type in the price. So you put it in the machine and then, but the thing is after I swipe the first one, I didn't really, like, I looked at my hands, because you guys know how I can only really think of, of one thing at a time. So I looked at my hands, and I, I had these gift cards in my hand. I was like, they all look the same. Like, what do I do? What do I, do? I don't know which one I rang up. So it, we, I ended up doing this really arduous process of looking through all of the cards to see, like, which one had money on it. And, of course, it was the last one. And, of course, for some reason, the swipe thing didn't work, so I had to punch in all the numbers manually. But good thing I typed fast, right? Good thing I typed fast. So... Yeah, that all worked out. And now, like, I'm really good at my job. I've been working there for a while. So, like, when, like, when there's a lot going on, I'm your man. Like, they put me as the first line of defense, you know, register one. Um, and I ring people up, and I'm answering customer service calls, and I'm doing returns, and it's, honestly, it's just the fast, like, the perfect fast-paced environment that I need. Um, uh, on top of that, I'm constantly interacting with people. I love interacting with people. I love talking. I talk with everybody about everything. Like this one guy, I really like D and D. I'm just getting into D and D. So this guy brought these dice, and they were wooden dice. There were four wooden dice in a one big die that was like a wooden die. So there were dice in a die, um, and it was really really cool. There's a lot of effort that goes into dice, um, and like D and D, there, there's a lot of different dice. And they add like, sometimes they have special symbols to represent the highest number, like a snake is a 6 or a 10 or a 20 or a 100 or, you know, whatever. There's a lot of different die dice. So, yeah, so retail is really fun, um, but it's not enough. I'm trying to get a job at a supermarket too, because I have a lot of expenses and a lot to save up for. Um, and I want to I wanna get that done. You know, I want to get that done. Um, so yeah, I'm on a hiatus from streaming just so I can get all of that in order. I really love streaming and I plan to return to streaming um, and there's nothing saying that I can't upload these videos, right? So yeah, I'm currently trying to unload all of these different video games um, because I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't have any sentimental like attachment to them. 
as much as I liked playing these games when I was a kid, um, and I'm sad to see this one go, but I can get like 45 bucks for it, like, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, I never really got into this game, it kind of sucks. Um, like, if I only play a game for five minutes and then I get bored. I, I, I don't even think you dueled in the conventional way, it was just weird. Um, yeah, it was a weird Yu-Gi-Oh game. Um, so anyways. Um, so, I'm gonna do a word of the day, I don't really do this. So, but I'm gonna start doing it. So today's word of the day is determination. And I just arbitrarily came up with that now. <laughs> um, so determination, what is determination? Determination is when you have a clear goal. Think about something that you want. Think about something that you want to strive for, whether it's an area of personal growth or it's an area of something that you want to achieve. Maybe it's a quantitative thing. Maybe it's not so quantitative and it's about you. So think about something that you want and think about how important that is to you. Think about um, the progress that you want to make and, and what you would be like after you reach that goal. And ask yourself, well, what am I doing to achieve that goal? There's a saying that Rock Lee says in, in Naruto, and Remy likes to make fun of me for this, but here's what Rock Lee says. He says, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? And you want to know what that means? Nothing ventured, nothing gained means that if you don't take risks, you can't really expect to make any progress, and it's absolutely true. I never thought, um, I mean, I pictured myself, I suppose I, I never really anticipated I'd be working in a Hobby Lobby. Uh, I, I wanted to work in like a GameStop or something, or I don't know. But like it, actually my dream job was at Best Buy, but that's a whole nother story. So yeah, you know, basically I, I don't care where I work. I don't really care as long as I can start building towards my future. So think about what you're willing to, what you're willing to do to, uh, to reach this goal, how important the goal is to you and take the leap take the leap you know uh, a lot of viewers are saying that they they struggle with some social aspects of their lives and here's what i say as far as social things are concerned take the leap take the risk because in my ex basically everybody everybody's in the same boat right everybody's in the same boat you could say something wrong you could tell a joke and it might not be very well received but here's the thing about telling jokes right you tell one, and then you tell another, and then by the time you tell the second one, they've already forgot about the first one. So, it's like that, you know, give it your best, give it your all, and reap the benefits, you know, reap what you sow. So, it's, it's, very, um, it's very important to take risks, because it's when we take risks that we often see the most amount of personal growth. So, I really enjoyed making this video, and I'm going to start making these videos weekly. Um, and as for now, I have off on Sundays, so I'll try and do them on Sundays because you know, today is Sunday and I finally had some time. So you know that I'm thinking about you guys and that I'm wishing you the best in everything it is that you do. Um, and, you know, always feel free to ask any questions on, you know, advice or how to lead a happy and fulfilling life. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. You're the best. I appreciate you and all that. And take care. Bye.